Greetings, my cooking family. I am back and I am back with flourless truffles. For those of you that are celebrating Passover, this is a yummy dessert. It has no grain, no flour, no leavening agent at all. And what's more, no baking, my friends. I am excited to show you. Let's start. Okay, my friends, we are going to start with one cup of almonds. Now let's put the almonds in a food processor and grind them to a paste. To the almonds, we are going to add one cup of dry apricots. And there's no need to chop them before. The food processor will do the work. Now I'm adding one cup plus a quarter cup of powdered sugar. Now you can add less if you would like. Uh, it all depends how much sugar you want in it. But for those that want to add just one cup of sugar, it would still be a very nice uh, dessert, just a little less sweet. And let your food processor work at least a few minutes, four or five minutes. We would like the mixture to be uh, grinded and uh, soft, but not dry. If you see that it's dry, you can add one tablespoon of water. If you see that it's too messy, too wet, uh, add a little bit more almonds. Great, the mixture looks nice and pasty. And now I'm adding one teaspoon of rose water and let's mix it again that's it my wonderful cooking family we are ready to form balls to make it uh, as a truffle so just form about one inch diameter balls um, in fact you can use the ice cream scoop I am using it just like that just grab enough to have a very packed ice cream scoop that would be a, an amount of one ball and it will also give you the same size of all balls so they can all be the same size you can form it as a ball you can form it as a finger we're gonna do both of them so that i can show you two different options of truffles So here, just the same as we formed a ball, take that ball and uh, work it with your two, the palm of your hands to make a nice finger truffle. And that's it, that's how it looks. Now let's make all the rest of them. And this is how they look, my friends, that's it. Can you believe it? This was so easy. And remember, we're not gonna bake them. There is no baking involved. Oh my gosh, this is so easy. And what I love about this the most is the fact that there's no flour, no dairy, um, no eggs. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it. This would be wonderful for a lot of people that have different allergies. So here's what we're doing. We are dipping the bowl in the cocoa powder and that's it. Dip it, roll it, make sure that it is absorbing a lot of the cocoa powder, yummy, and place it on your serving dish. This is such a nice dessert and so easy. Anyone can do this, especially beginners bakers. 
absolutely recommend it to beginner bakers to help them break the first ice. Now another option is to dip the truffles in a melted chocolate. You can use white chocolate, you can use brown chocolate, or mix them, as, or maybe drizzle chocolate on them. That's another option. Today I didn't have that much time, I chose to go the easy way, but absolutely um, experiment and I would love to know if you made it in any different way. Please let me know in the comments, I would love to know and absolutely will share it with all our cooking family. And here I am dipping the finger truffles that we made as well. Uh, and again, you can make them in all kinds of shapes. I chose these two easy ones to show you. But yeah, absolutely, our truffles are ready. Look at them. Aren't they beautiful? They're beautiful and they're delicious too. Uh, a very important thing is to store them in the refrigerator. Even though there's no eggs or dairy, I recommend to store them in a container in the refrigerator it will keep them nice and fresh okay cooking fam as you know i can't wait and i have to try one so just a simple knife slice it and this is how it looks from the inside yummy 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 it's so good i'm gonna taste one and enjoy one and i would love for you to let me know how you liked it after making it and tasting it please make sure to let me know in the comments i would love to know and if you send me pictures of truffles that you made i will add them to our food blog where all our cooking family has a special page with all the pictures of my recipes that you all made i love it Thank you so much. And with that, my friends, I thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe and join our delicious cooking community and share to your circle. I also wanted to say thank you so much for those of you that are buying me all those coffee cups. The link is in the description box right below this video. Also, I wanted to say thank you so much for those of you that are supporting us by visiting and purchasing items through my Amazon page. This year I decided to start donating to three organizations from the commissions we get on the sales in our Amazon store. And the three organizations that we are supporting are St. Jude Hospital for Children, Wounded Warriors and the International Fellowship for Christians and Jews that provides hot meals for Holocaust survivors, which is an issue very close to my heart. I truly, truly appreciate your help and support and again, thank you so much. All the links are right below this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.